I'd like to give you an overview of how you should manage your time in your Math 80 class, as well as in other classes. I need to make it very clear that there are, in fact, three components to your Math 80 class. Obviously, you'll attend your once per week class and you'll be doing work there. But in addition to that, remember that we ask you to spend 150 minutes, that's two and a half hours, in the lab some portion of your week. You can break that up into smaller, smaller parts as well. And note that the lab is open every day from about 9 in the morning till 9 at night. It's even known to be open on Sundays. So it's not like you can't do that. Okay, That's two and a half hours working in the lab in addition to your class time every week. And in addition to that, I need you to know that you are very likely going to have some additional work at home, your homework. That's three components, class time, lab time, and homework. Now, let me show you exactly why that's the case, just in case you don't believe it. Let's look at the standard class time breakdown for some common class. We'll say English 101. Now, your English 101 class perhaps is held three times a week. It's a three credit course held on, we'll say, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That means you spend three hours per week in class. Okay. Now certainly after each of those classes, you're going to have writing to do, homework. And I'm going to say that that would amount to at least an hour of homework after each of those class days. So that would be an additional three hours, right, an additional three hours for a total of six hours of work that week. Now, any counselor is going to tell you that, especially if you're not good in a subject, that you need to spend twice the number of credit hours for homework on the average per week. Twice the number of credit hours on homework on the average per week if you're going to succeed in that class. So really for a three credit class you should be spending you should be spending an additional six hours per week in homework. That means really for an English 101 class you should be spending a total including class time and homework time and maybe time in the writing center of nine hours as the optimal, optimal amount of time that the average student should be spending to succeed in that class, All right? Now, I want to make sure that this is crystal clear to you. So let's go through this same principle for another class, maybe a Tuesday-Thursday class. We'll say a Tuesday-Thursday SOCH 101 class. Now, I know that you only have that twice a week, but if you only have it twice a week, that means it goes for an hour and a half each of those two days, doesn't it? Which is still, I hope you appreciate, three hours of class time for the Social 101 class. And you're going to have to do homework. Of course, you will have to do reading in Social 101 if you didn't know it. And since only, you only have it twice a week, there's going to be more reading to do to prepare for each of those two classes. So the reading, the homework, will quite likely add up to an additional an additional three hours worth of work on your part. As you can see that again would add up to six hours. But it's still not the optimal amount of time, is it? Because if you're not good at that subject, or perhaps you maybe you're not a good reader, recall that once again counselors recommend that you spend twice the number of credit hours as a barometer of how much time you should be spending on homework in any class. Now that this is a th again is a three credit class, so twice three, of course, would be six hours of homework in addition to the scheduled class time. That again would come to nine hours per week to have the optimum amount of time that you would spend 
every week, mind you, on that subject. Now, wake up, because here comes the big kicker. Let's compare the classes we just looked at to our Math 80 time, mag time management situation, which should be the same, shouldn't it? Unless you're not a very strong math student, in which case you should be spending even more time than that, right? Your Math 80 class actually only is scheduled to meet once a week for an hour and 15 minutes. Look at our thermometer in comparison, and it only goes up to here. If that is all you do, hopefully you can see that you are being absolutely irresponsible. Even if you spend the 150 additional minutes of time in the lab that we recommend in the syllabus, the two and a half hours per week, let's see. Well, as you can see, you'll still be in the poor range of the thermometer. I hope you appreciate that. So I need to get you to understand that to be even close to the same level of work required in other college classes, you're going to have to do additional time either in the lab or at home. At least three hours of additional time. And, and, and that still, as you can see, would not be optimal. If you, in all honesty, identify yourself as being not a strong math student, and I think many of you know that you do, then you need to spend more than three hours of additional time. As the counselors have told you from other classes, you need to spend twice the number of credit hours. This is a three credit class, so you need to be spending five to six hours in addition to the lab time that we recommended and your class time. In addition to that if you are to succeed in this class. So if you're not spending that amount of time to get to the optimal range there, if you're not spending that amount of time, don't be surprised that you're not meeting your goals and not passing this class, which by the way is a required class in order to get any degree. So you've been warned. It's on you now.